Hello, everyone, and welcome back to a special Canada's Got Talent edition of the Jake's Take with Jacob L. Ashar podcast. I'm your host, Jacob L. Ashar, the chief content producer and writer of jakestake.com, a pop culture entertainment news website. If you're watching this on YouTube, please give us a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel. If you're listening to this on our, any of our audio platforms, please download this episode, give us a five-star rating, and also please subscribe. I am very honored that this guest has officially broken a Jake's Take with Jacob L. Ashar record of the furthest interview that I have conducted. We are traveling all the way to Japan to talk to this next act. He blew the judge's way. In fact, even sent one of them off during his entire performance off stage. So please help me welcome Atushi Ono. Yes, thank you so much for having me, Jacob. Atushi, it's a pleasure to talk with you. I have, uh, before we got on here, I was looking at your pop, your performance, and as of this recording, it has over 125,000 YouTube views. Oh, wow. Wow. That's, That's amazing. My That's amazing. <laughs> so when did you get interested in magic, and how did that passion evolve and desire to pursue a career in the entertainment industry? Well, it was... Uh, uh... Back in 2003, I was in Seattle studying in like English and uh, marketing. Uh, and I found, you know, by accident, a magician's meeting called the uh, Seattle, Seattle, like, you know, backroom session. And then I thought, oh, you know, it's cool. And I started joining in and um, that's everything started there. So that's incredible. It's amazing how it all started out at some place and then it evolved big. So why did you, why was 2023 the year that you said, hey, I'm going to try an audition for Canada's Got Talents? Well, you know, the people at my gig always like, you know, say something, um, you know, why don't you try the like, America's Got Talent or Canada's Got Talent? You know, it's a popular show. So, you know, I always, um, I never took it, you know, seriously. But, you know, ever since the pandemic hit, I had more time to think about, you know, my career and, you know, um, reflect on myself. And then I thought, you know, I just wanted to try to see how it goes. You know, I never had a guts, but I don't know. I realized nothing to lose. I just wanted to try to see how it goes. So I just applied for it. I got to say, I was very impressed with your audition, especially with Close Up Magic. It's definitely one of the best best genres of magic has gone a lot farther early since over the past couple of years I've covered got talent since 2012 and I've also been a super original super fan of America's Got Talent so I gotta say that was a really good quote I really truly enjoyed your close of magic act so however oh, you left one of the judges cardinal sh so shook it that he that he walked out during your presentation so what yeah. was your reaction when Cardinal walked off? Were you nervous or like what what went what through your mind when he walked off? Well, I, I was nervous for the entire time, you know. Uh, but as soon as I started my performance, I don't I don't quite remember. Um, I was so focusing on my performance and then also like you know the the really really nervous. So um, I don't know. You know, I, I kind of trust them. You know, there's, you know, the real stars and all the judges are. So uh, whatever happened, I, I, I knew they're going to make me, you know, make me uh, funny or cool or um, I trust them. So whatever happened, I was prepared for, for anything happening. You know, that's the beauty of close up magic is the interaction with everything. So um, to me, I, I think I was very lucky when he, you know, walked off the stage. I mean, the judges table. I think it's a, it's a very lucky thing happened to me. And I'm glad you did that. So as you, if you have the opportunity to get to the semifinals and eventually get to the finale and it's finale night. So Lindsay L says your name, what would winning Canada's Got Talent season two mean to you? Oh, um, it's a, it's a huge deal, obviously. You know, every competitors are there to to win, but you know, the the real asset that I found was, you know, I'm I'm not trying to be nice, but the real asset was like, you know, meeting with such amazing staff and all the producers are absolutely amazing, and I learned a lot 
um, you know, from working with them and, you know, other competitors, obviously. Um, so, you know, it means a lot to me. You know, I learned, you know, I can grow as a, as a human and then also I uh, grew as an entertainer. So experience itself is, is everything. So I already got, you know, the amazing opportunity. So whatever happened next, um, I don't know, I'm super happy and so grateful. Awesome. So one of the questions I want to, one of the last questions I have for you is this, when it comes as right now, I live in, in Kansas. So America's Got Talent right now is in its audition phases where they're finally meeting with the filming friend of Howie and Simon and the others. So, and it also brings Got Talent is also working about ready to go as well. If you had any chance to meet with fellow ma magicians who are about ready to go on stage and face the judges, what advice would you share with them? Well, um, I think I'm the one who need advice, you know, <laughs> you know? Uh, but you know, the, the one advice I got from my producer was, you know, just be yourself, you know, um, just, I don't know if you perform regularly, there's no difference, you know, the same, you know, that people are same people as you perform normally. So just be yourself and, uh, authentic city is everything, you know, don't pretend someone else and it is a big deal, a uh, huge deal, but just enjoy the every moment of it. You know, I got, I was very, very nervous. Um, it's very difficult to be like usual, you know, it's not a usual situation. It's a, a bunch of people, like 5,000 5, people in the audience and judges are superstars and uh, it's not a everyday thing obviously so you know you gotta enjoy um the moment and just be yourself that's the uh that's the advice i can give awesome atushi so atushi if you one final question i have is where can my audience connect with you and follow you on your journey on social media uh i do so uh instagram so uh atushi magician that's my instagram and you know, I try to, uh, you know, um, post like whatever avenues. Awesome. Atushi, I want to wish you the best of luck as you're you. on your Arcanist Guy Town journey. And I have a feeling that you are good. Yeah, I cannot wait to see what you do next. So thank you so much for taking time on your schedule for talking with me. I really appreciate it. And all the way from Japan, too. Yeah, thank you so much. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening. Until next time, have a great one, everybody. Goodbye.